For some, it's uncomfortable to talk about, but if you're suffering from a life-threatening bacterium in your bowel, it's no laughing matter. Now, uh, there's a medical breakthrough that can help those sufferers live a normal life. It's a procedure that could leave some feeling squeamish. These bacteria do wonderful things. Things that can cure our bodies from superbugs, which is bacteria that's immune to antibiotics. There are hundreds of different kinds of good bacteria in our bowel. The same type of bacteria or probiotics you find in yogurt. But would you be willing to take someone else's human waste and put it into your body? For Ellen Blackwell of Baltimore, it was a no-brainer. Saved my life. I, I was dying. Ellen was so sick, she couldn't eat for almost a year. All she could stomach were crackers and water. I didn't have any appetite. Ellen had a life-threatening form of bacteria called C. difficile, also known as C. diff. It's similar to MRSA and largely resistant to antibiotics. I was taking $7,000 a month in antibiotics. I wasn't able to eat at all. I lost a significant amount of weight. Um, I was very, very sick. There is a group of patients where really nothing works. And these patients have diarrhea, which is absolutely relentless. Treatment options are slim, either remove your colon or risk death. But Dr. Sadir Dutta at Sinai Hospital was willing to try something radical, a fecal transplant. Dealing with stool has never been a pleasant thing. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to look at it. But the results can be life-saving. The only thing Ellen needed was a donor. The people who can donate the stool sample are generally children or spouses. That's where Catherine, Ellen's daughter, stepped in. I'm thinking, this is a really good idea. Like, we have all these bacteria in our colon. You know, it's like a super probiotic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, everything was dependent on when I could show up to the hospital with the sample, so I just brought it down to the lab. The stool was filtered to purify it so only the good bacteria would be transplanted. Nurse Belinda Mason assisted Dr. Duta in the surgery room. You're actually introducing it into the patient. So we had to go through the mouth and put it in the top of the small intestines and then had to go through the colon. For Ellen, it was worth it. I wanted to eat food within 24 hours. I felt normal. Ellen and her daughter moved past the ick factor and say it's been a bonding experience. Catherine and I now have bacteria in our guts that matches like a fingerprint. Beth Vaughn, RTV6. C. diff is one of the most common diseases that is treated through fecal therapy. Half a million Americans are diagnosed with the disease each year.